We're hearing more and more these days about the proliferation of fentanyl on the streets and in our schools. It is a troubling trend given the drug's high level of toxicity. But what does the prevalence of fentanyl in its many forms mean for school officials who may encounter the drug, most commonly in pill form, while investigating a tip or suspicious behavior on campus? Or for that matter, for parents? 17's Robert Price has more. Fact or fiction? Simply touching an illicit fentanyl pill can harm you or kill you. The question has relevance in light of reports from Chipman Junior High School earlier this month that a school official was hospitalized after coming in contact with a quantity of fentanyl pills allegedly brought to campus by a 13-year-old student. The unidentified school official was said to be stable. Chances are good the decision to hospitalize the school official was simply out of an abundance of caution because reports of overdoses from incidental contact are more myth than fact. The chief culprits in this myth-making media and perhaps I'm San Diego County Sheriff Bill Gore law enforcement exhibit a is this video produced by the San Diego County Sheriff's Department two years ago of a deputy supposedly overdosing from fentanyl exposure Just breathe, buddy. it went viral with more than five million views in two months thing is the video was staged and critics say it created widespread unjustified fears fears that two years later persist According to the California Department of Public Health, which cites a report by the American College of Medical Toxicology and the American Academy of Clinical Toxicology, the risk of clinically significant exposure from accidental contact with the skin is extremely low. Skin absorption, the report says, is unlikely to cause opioid poisoning. Inhalation of drug particles suspended in the air may also be a concern, but industrial producers of fentanyl who must closely monitor their labs say an unprotected person would have to be exposed to a high airborne concentration continuously for nearly three and a half hours to be affected in a way equal to the effects of a dose of morphine typically administered for pain relief. Everyone, parents, school officials, first responders, should try to minimize or eliminate contact with the skin, eyes, mouth, and nose. When practical, wear latex gloves. If the fentanyl is in powder form, wear an N95 mask. Use caution, but know that touching a fentanyl pill or simply being in the same room as an undisturbed quantity of fentanyl will not by itself harm you. Now, ingesting a pill or intentionally inhaling its heated vapors, that can kill you. Kern County's 600 fentanyl overdose victims since 2019 testify to that. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.